massive news today. I have officially purchased PokerNews.com. First up, I thought long and hard about the direction I want to take the company. And I think I have a pretty good path forward. I just came up with that. But besides the obvious upgrade in name quality, we have a lot of other stuff we want to do here with Poker News. For starters, we need to make sure you're covered in all things poker that matter to you with articles like what poker tournaments are coming up at the Lodge in April, and then also what poker tournaments are coming up at the Lodge in May, and then finally, when will be the Lodge Championship Series main event? That's the kind of stuff that people really want to know about. But at PokerNews.com, it's not just about what major tournaments are running in the Austin metropolitan area. It's also about how can I improve at the game. And I think I got just the website you might want to check out. Another cornerstone of the Polker News tournament reporting strategy is going to be to let you know about the big name heavy hitters. So next time Phil Helmia takes a brutal cooler and gets eliminated, we're going to make sure we got you covered. Oh shit, we're already doing that. Probably should have known that before buying the company, but... Not feeling like learning about poker today? Well, don't worry, we got you covered there too. With heavy hitting pieces like top five reasons why tanning beds are bad for you and natural self-tanning alternatives to improve your life. Also, Doug Polk, fashion icon. And of course, cryptocurrency exchanges. Is CoinFlex really as great as everyone's been saying? Yes. Yes, it is. Yup, here at Polker News, we got you covered no matter what. And that's what this is all about. Handing our readers a huge L in their Poker News.